Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So this door is an outer court and so a buyer maxi dress. So this is what a buyer will look like after sewing. Please endeavor to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and tap the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I post a new video. So with the waist belt, that's what it looks like. Yes. So that's the outcome you're going to have at the end of this video. Bismillah. So let's get started. The measurement we needed for this tutorial is our back, bust, waist, sleeve length, round sleeve, and then our gown length. So I'm going to be working with three yards of fabric. So the first thing I'm going to do is to fold my fabric into two, thereby having one and a half yard at both sides. After which I'm going to fold it diagonally into four. So I'm just folding diagonally into four. So after this, the next thing I'm going to do is to mark our starting points. So I'm going to mark from where we have four fabrics in fold. And after marking our starting points, I'm just going to insert my back measurements. My back is 15 divided by 2, that's 7.5. So I'll just insert 7.5. And then from that 7.5, I'll take my hammer measurement. My hammer is 16 divided by 2, that's 8. So I'm just coming down by 8 inches. So from that point, I'm just going to make my hammer curve. This is my hammer. You can use your hand if you don't have the hammer curve. So from there, I'll insert my bust measurement. My bust is 34 divided by 4. That's 8.5. Then 2 inches is allowance and then 1.5 inch seam allowance. If you want, you might use 3 inches seam allowance. And 3 inches is allowance, depending on how free you want it to be. So from there, I'll just take a diagonal line down to the last part of my folded parts. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take my neck off. So I'm using 3 by 3. That is 3 for the width and 3 for the breast. So with my hand, I'm just going to make my neck off. And then I'll take my shoulder slip. So I'll just come down by 1 inch from the hammer point. And I'll make a slant line to join the neckline. So the next thing is to take my gown length. So from that edge, from that edge, I'll just take, go up by two inches. There are two ways to this. You can just take your gown length directly round, but I'll just go up by two inches and I'll make a curve to the midpoint of my folded part. And I'm just going to cut. So I'm just tracing my line.
So this is what we are going to have after cutting. So I'm just going to keep it aside. So this is for my basic sleeve. You can check my previous videos on how I achieve this. So because I want my maxi device to have a side pocket, I just cut four pieces of 10 by 7 fabric. So I have 10 inches long and 7 inches breadth. So to sew it now, the first thing I'm going to do is to come down from the shoulder by 16 inches. So from the shoulder, I've just come down by 16 inches. And at that 16 inches point, I'll take one piece of the pocket I cut, right side facing each other, and I'm just going to pin it. So I'll do the same for the other side also. I'll come down by 16 inches. So I pinned all the four sides. I'm ready. So what I'm just going to do now is to join the shoulder and then join the side I pinned. After which I'm going to join the sides. So I joined the pocket to the dress already and I joined the shoulder. So the next thing is for me to sew the sides, leaving the pocket opening. So I'm just going to sew the side, leaving the pocket opening. So I'll sew like this, then down to where the pocket is. To the sides and I'll do the same to the other side also. So I joined the sides and I joined the sleeve. So this is for my basic sleeve. So the next thing is to come to the left side of my dress and I will insert my pocket in it. So I my sleeve. So right side facing each other. And I'm just going to pin it. So I'll pin it all around. So after pinning, I'm just going to do the same to the second part. And I'm going to sew it. So this is what our sleeve will look like.
So after that, the next thing I will do is to hem my neckline. You can use your bias tape, or you can just hem it directly, and then I will hem the down part also. So I join the sleeve, and I join the second sleeve also. That's the pocket opening. So I'll just finish up my dress by hemming the neckline and then the down part also. So I had pieces remaining, so I felt instead of wasting it, I should just make a waist belt with it. So my waist belt is about 17 inches long and four inches wide so i just folded it and i sew it so i'm just using my scissors to turn it you might decide not to waste not to make a waste of it depending on your So you just join that part. These are Maxi Abaya. So this is what it will look like after sewing. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please, if you find it to be helpful, give it a thumbs up. So that's it with the waist belts. And that's the pockets. Very easy. Within a few minutes, your buyer magazine dress is ready. So thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe again. Take care. <laughs> Bye.